York. We are here for a couple days to see my dad and Pat and see some sights and sounds. We brought Scott's niece with us this time, so she's out and about shopping. We are in Rockefeller Plaza, just taking in the sights, and we'll take you along. It's freezing. Yeah, it's pretty cold here. My niece Hannah, she's off at the Nintendo store getting her geek on. <laughs> getting her geek on, that's right. So we'll probably hear all about that at dinner this evening. So we try to come a couple times a year because Scott's dad does live here. So we try to come see him. And um, we know a few things about New York. We're not super experts, but we, we know a few things. So if you have any comments or questions about New York, put them down below. We've probably stayed at every Hilton in New York. That's probably true. <laughs> we'll talk more about that later, but come enjoy some sights and sounds of New York. Okay, away we go. Here we are at the Rainbow Room. Not going up there this trip, but I wanted to show you how close it is to Rockefeller Plaza, which is right there where the lights are. And here's the Rainbow Room. We are here with my niece, and where did she want to come? To the Nintendo store. We are seeing everything Nintendo. And it's crazy in here. Schwartz is still a thing, but I guess it is. the Liberty Science Center. This is where Miss Hannah chose to come today and explore science. She is a microbiology major getting her master's but this is really why she wanted to come to see the Minecraft exhibition. 
so that's where we are going with our college graduate, master's student. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever played playing, what's this called? <laughs> I must have, I've seen it before. This is awesome. These kids are having a blast. <laughs> Such a dork. <laughs> Do you think, do you think it's going to be enough wind to blow his hair? <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. 60 miles an hour. <laughs> it's not even blowing his hair. There he goes. His hair actually is going to look that better. Was awesome. <laughs> that was the best two dollars I've spent all day. Good morning from New York. Cheers. Morning. Our last morning here in New York, and we thought we'd talk about the act of kindness that we observed on our vacation, on our little trip. So, yesterday, our cab ride from Hoboken to the museum wound up being a little bit longer, and our cab driver was very kind in telling us that we could have saved a lot of money by getting a cab from Jersey City to the Science Museum. Yeah, he was really nice. You know, I think cab drivers take, you know, a bad rap for taking the longest route, trying to get as most money as they can out of you. And this guy was just like, you know what, a better route coming back would be take an Uber to the light rail, and light rail to the station, and you're gonna save a lot of money. And when he said that, Scott and I both kind of looked at each other and said, act of kindness there it is right there so we just wanted to highlight that and really take some time of, of gratitude and and thank him actually one other one our uber driver we did get an uber from uh, the science center and I just thought well let's skip the light rail we'll just take an uber and when he came he says you know there's a closer station I can take you to the closer station he saved us like 10 bucks so you know we treat them well, but they were just really kind and we appreciate that. As you know, in our intro video that we posted, we want to highlight kindness in each one of our adventures. And whether it is us observing kindness, receiving kindness, giving kindness, whatever it might be, we just want to highlight that. So goodbye from New York. We are on to our next adventure and remember to adventure kindly. Bye-bye.